Halo guys, selamat datang kembali di Ghost Box di channel. Oke, okay. mari kita lanjutkan Life is Strange True Colors episode 2 Mengulang dari yang dari yang blue screen terus terus OBS-nya nggak nyimpan jadinya korup kacau lah. Jadi gue speed speed running ya ya. Sampai chapter 3. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Now well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Yeah. Maybe not as long as that, but yeah. I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. Sure. So sure. we have a few folks that need checking yeah. on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this I goes. Not a bad... This is the server. Alex, right? Hey, Steph. I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh, no. I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. No, thanks. I should get back to work. Okay. I can't put you where you step in it. Can 
I get you two anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, Ducky, to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Terakhir salah. Terakhir gue pilih burger sweet mushroom. Uh huh. And one pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right, if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Still want to hit the truck. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Speed run Speed cepat ya Kita gasin nih sampai chapter 2 Chapter 3 Gak sabar gue Bagus soalnya ceritanya Alright Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here Found this upstairs in Gabe's couch. Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Oh. <sighs> wow, tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. 
service, Chad. My dad was in the service. Miss Chad. My dad was in the service. Bersihin dulu. Bersihin meja. Shit. Now Max scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? What do you want? Listen, what happened what upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. been together four years she is the best thing that's ever happened to me so please help me out I, I don't know man shit what the fuck is wrong with you oh my god look at your face no, it's okay don't even what were you thinking Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Oh, shit. Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Call out Max bullshit. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we... Still together. What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? Your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. No, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've 
never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? I want one. Karena sebelumnya udah tahu gak ada apa-apa terjadi setelah minum. Tapi I want one. Speak. Hey, Alex. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey, Jed. Can we get? Uh... Thanks. Hey, keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Minta minum lagi boleh tak? Oh, good. Good talking to you. Bye, buddy. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yes. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Are you giving me the silent treatment? I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Did you rehearse that move? No. Only in my mind. <laughs> so, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, Guess I never realized. That 
I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took them apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Tell him what your power. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, just felt it. No, no one told me that. I just feel it. You sure it's not just... You know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds mm -hmm. or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? You're feeling like you need a lot more beer. <laughs> That's true most of the time. <laughs> I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> You're fucking with me, right? I'm serious. Did you listen to anything I just said? This is terrible. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. 
But you can get in there. I mean, that's that's really special. I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips. But you're strong. You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> surprise. Well, what do you think? I really appreciate the gesture. What? I don't know. I haven't played in forever. That's OK. You have plenty of time to practice. When you're not handing out beatdowns. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move now. Okay, let's go. This way. Wow. It's been a while since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his minor in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? You Charlotte's good? gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on. Let's take a look around. Let's take a look around. Ini sempat kelilingin juga ini. Nyari nyari barang. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? 
I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine, I... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Let's go. Oh. Imagine being trapped down there. What happened here? Massive cave in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? obvious maybe we should notice anything no shit I'll be damned the whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground sounds like the mind of me does it show where he went not sure the comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower which shows him where to go there. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. Awesome. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. There's like a side door back there. I don't know. I guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how did he get out of here? I have go. Yeah. Tuntaskan secepatnya. Chapter tiga, yuk. Bisa yuk, bisa yuk.
Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. I think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Heads up! Heads up. You figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Will wonders never cease? What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go! Close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan, you okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. His fear is so strong. If I get near it, it's no good. We're too heavy. Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Does it matter? Doesn't really feel like that's relevant right now, to be honest. It's relevant to me. Okay, well, I'll let you know when I figure it out. I'm gonna hold you to that.
Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. I'm not gonna get hurt and neither are you. See me. Can't let it see me. 
It can't be real. Oh, but it looks pretty fucking real. Hey. Hey, I see it too, Ethan. The monster? I see it too. And I'm just as scared as you are. But Ethan, we're safe. You know why? That thing it can't see, see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like my Thwarden. I thought that was just a story. Hell, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. I'm headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. Not over yet. Oh, God. Okay. One step at a time. But we can do this. One step at a time. Okay. Do you think the log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. Sketch, baby.
end of chapter 1 seru banget kan tapi gue udah nonton sebelumnya jadi udah tahu ceritanya jadi episode kali ini sampai situ aja jangan lupa like, comment, dan subscribe dan tunggu episode selanjutnya chapter 2